Hi guys, so for today's topic, which is going to be the medieval medieval topic it is, um, we're going to be making these stained glass windows. Very simple to make, just using card and tissue paper and glue. Great little displays to be hanging up in front of your window and also, or if you want to just want to stick them on your window, they look great with the light shining through as well good little topic good little pieces of craft to do with the kids at school or at home so what are we waiting for folks let's get on with the video okay right guys to make our stained glass windows we are going to be using some black card or we can get any different type of colored card you want to use but i find black is the best one to use a compass or anything round plates you want to get if you are going to use a plate use two different types of sizes of plates i'll tell you why in a minute um a ruler to measure your compass and then some tissue paper different color tissue paper there to stick on for the background this is a great little art uh, craft idea to do with the kids and it's great to hang up in their windows as well window displays and um, it's just cool as well just to do at home with them too now as you saw there was two different ways we made those um, those stained glass windows so this is how we're going to do it first of all I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to measure out 10 centimeters and create the outer circle so you want to use your bigger plate for the outer circle outer circle and then we're going to do so that was 10 centimeters we're probably going to do eight centimeters for the inner circle another cool little art project to do with the kids this way as well you'll get two different ways of doing it as well you'll also need some glue and some scissors as well so what we're going to do now I'm going to cut the outer circle out first okay so we've got our first one done now what we're going to do is because I don't want to cut a line into this I'm just going to fold this over like so not too much of a crease but just enough so I can get the scissors in and we're going to cut the inner circle now this would be a great way of just creating the uh, cutting it without having to cut a big line in the center of it and having to glue it off. So now we have our outer edge circle. So we've got one template there and then we have this one here which is the cut off piece. Now normally you could just throw that away but this is where we'll make the second. We'll use this one to make our second um, stained glass window. This is a very cool one to do as well. You get the same sort of effect and it's a great one to do with them as well. What we're going to do now is cut some strips of that sort of length. Very random strips we're going to cut. Place them in different ways. I'm going to cut a little bit more off of that so that we haven't got anything hanging over the edges. Before you glue it down, just adjust it around so you can see how it's gonna look. That looked pretty cool like that. Once you're happy, 
with how you want it to look you can start gluing your strips down probably best as well sometimes what you might want to do is before you cut your circle out mount it onto a piece of card and then cut your circles out you'll find that it's a little bit more sturdier as well Here we have the base for our stained glass window. Now we want to do start using our coloured tissue paper. Side there. Oh, I'll stick to this side. And you want to just cut off some random sheets like so. And start gluing them down. You want to try and get them as on the black card as possible, so that they you don't want to overlapping to the next circle or anything like uh, the next hole should I say so I'm just going to apply some glue Those edges a bit, and there we have our first stained glass window. This looks really cool when hung up with a piece of string hanging from a window. So it looks really cool. So there's our first one done, and the next one with our cut out piece that we cut out from the center, we can get them to do. This is a cool one to do as well. Get them to fold it once, get them to fold it twice. But what you don't want to do is cut anything here. So you don't want to cut anything on this corner here because that's the outer edge that is. But what you want to do is just get them to cut some random shapes. There's a few triangles. Some larger triangles. Just to get them to do some real random shapes in here, maybe like a little, if they can, just do a, like a little curve as well. Maybe a tiny little square. And we'll just finish off with another little triangle there. And then once they've done this one, so this one's a little bit more easy than this one because you haven't got to cut the, sh uh, the strips. Once I've done this one then, you open it up you get a very cool pattern like that. it's a bit of an Aztec sort of look as well but this is another great one to do you know with putting the tissue paper over the edges of it which is what we're going to do now so it's another easier way of doing our stained glass window so let's take some tissue Our second stained glass window done using just these two pieces of card we have it guys thank you all again for watching and I'll see you guys again